Hi there. This video is about these uh, cheap switching power supplies you buy on Amazon and other places. Uh, they're great value for money, but they are a little too noisy sometimes for use in ham radio, and I'll show you why. This one I modified with this little uh, volt display. It's just soldered under the board with the wire coming up. Quite convenient, great mod, I recommend it. Now in an effort to tame the noise a little bit, I've uh, tried to use this big chunk in uh, toroid. It's not really doing much. But let's go over to my ICOM and the waterfall display. You can see here several bands of noise. All this noise is in fact coming from my power supply and I can prove it uh, a couple different ways. But let's uh, look at these bands of noise a little bit first. So right now I'm tuned to, to 14165 and you can see this band of noise. Let me turn up the volume a little. That's pretty substantial noise. At an S4 right now for this this particular spot. If I, I remember 163 tune down a little bit here to this band of noise 136 that's about 27 kilohertz ish they're, they're pretty wide so 27 and a half kilohertz ish uh, frequency or uh, difference in between and you'll notice they happen over and over and over and over again the hat on this radio with this power supply it's every band everywhere 27 kilohertz let's turn that down because that's annoying now i've hooked up my oscilloscope sorry for the shaky cam I, and i have it hooked up to the output of the power supply to show what's going on it's just a little blurry at the moment but this is zoomed in on the DC waveform coming out. And if I adjust the trigger just right, you can see a little bit of an extra blip sometimes. It's a little faint at the moment because, of course, I'm re recording this guy right there, that zigzag. That's the one, that's the impulse we're looking for. Now, Unfortunately, I'll probably have to cut this to try and make that. Nope, it's right there. You can see another little blip right about there. If I turn my time cursors on again, so the difference between this line and this line is about 18.3 microseconds, and if you do the one over on that, that's 54 kilohertz, which happens to be roughly pretty close to double 27.5 kilohertz so that is definitely our uh, culprit this little bit extra doesn't seem to be doing much at least not that I can find now let's actually empirically prove or more yeah more empirically prove that this is what the issue is by turning off the radio unplug it and I have here a nice LiPo battery of the correct voltage that I can plug in. There we go. Power back on the radio. And oh wait, they're still there. Why is that? Because the power supply is still on. If I throw the switch to turn it off, Notice that's starting to fall and all the zigzag lines fade and just disappear. Now it's nice and quiet. It's running off the battery. It's nice and quiet. Uh, much better than before. And so that's the, the final proof that these guys are noisy. I've been using it. I'm going to keep using it for a little while until I find something to replace it. Uh, I've made plenty of QSOs, a lot of FT8 contacts with it how it is. There's plenty of room be between uh, the spikes of noise to operate, but sometimes it lands right on top of somebody you want to talk to, and it's really annoying. Not sure what to do about it if I want to keep using this guy. 
but I think this may be relegated to battery charging and things like that and not run my ham radios in the near future. So thanks for watching and that's all I got for you.